Happy Friday everybody, this is Nigel with HTCpedia.com and today I'm here with the HTC Evo Shift 4G and I'm going to compare it to the HTC Evo 4G. Both of these phones are available on Sprint. The Evo has been out since last summer. The Evo Shift just came out. And if you're thinking about picking up a new phone on Sprint, you're probably wondering which of these two phones is better. So let's dive in. The HTC Evo 4G has a 1 GHz processor, and the HTC Evo Shift has an 800 MHz processor. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh my god, the Shift has a slower processor, so obviously it's a worse phone. But you know what? It's really not. Like, using it in practice, and using it for, uh, for the review that I'm writing, it's been a very good phone. I think we've reached the, the point where, number-wise, performance isn't going to be that different. Okay, let's talk cameras. The HCC Evo has an 8 megapixel camera on the back. It's also, there's the back camera. It's also got a, it's also got a, a front-facing camera for video chat, which is right there. And the Evo Shift has a 5 megapixel camera, you can see, and it does not have a front-facing camera, so if you want to do video chat, you're better off getting the Evo. These phones are 4G. They both connect to Sprint's WiMAX network. Um, although, for today's test, both phones are running off Wi-Fi because, you know what, we couldn't get 4G service out here on Long Island. The other big difference between these two phones is that the Evo Shift has a slide-out keyboard, and the Evo has none. So, if you want to jam out text messages or emails, the Evo Shift is a better choice. And you know what? Playing around with the Evo Shift's keyboard, it's not bad. I have made a lot fewer errors than I made on the Evo. Evo. And I have been using the Evo for six months, so that just goes to show you how good the Shift's keyboard is. Okay, let's do a browser showdown. We're going to load up HTCpedia on both these phones, and we'll see which one renders it faster. All right, the shift is ready. One moment. And the Evo is ready, and I will try my hardest to get these at the same time. One, two, three, and they're off. Again, both these are running over Wi-Fi. The Evo has a big lead. The shift is catching up, and the Evo's done. The shift is still working. The shift is still working. While the shift loads, I will mention that both that both these phones had the site in its browser cache, so this was a test of a site that you visit on a daily basis. I know I visit this site on a daily basis. I hope you do as well. And the shift is done. So, browser-wise, the Evo did beat the shift. Um, now, let's do a smart bench comparison. Yesterday, I saw Wirefly do a comparison of the Evo Shift to the Samsung Epic 4G. And you know what? I thought, that's not a very fair comparison. Let's do something a bit more fair. So, we're going to run the smart bench between the two Sprint HTC phones. So let's get it loaded up. And SmartBench, for those who, who haven't seen the Wirefly video, SmartBench is a benchmarking program which runs a series of mathematical and graphics tests and then spits out two numbers. It gives you a number for productivity and it gives you a number for gaming. So you can see how good your phone is as a, as a get stuff done phone and how good it is as a gaming machine. All right, so let's get started. And the shift got off to an early lead calculating pi. And I've run this test already, and I'm going to tell you that you're going to be surprised by the, re by the result. And here you can see the shift is blowing through the graphics part while the Evo is struggling. And that's been pretty consistent with, with what I've seen testing out the shift thus far. Um, the Evo is my personal phone, and the, the shift handles games way better. It's not even close. As you can see, the shift is blowing through the test. The Evo is still at the first graphics test.
The shift is on to the second graphics test. The Evo just finished the first one. And the shift is done. The Evo is moving on to the second graphics test, I believe. And I think this just goes to show you that processor, the advertised processor speed isn't everything. Going into this test, you, you would have figured that the Evo would blow the Evo shift away, and it, it, it hasn't happened. There we go, now the Evo's on to the second graphics test. Dum dum da da dum dum da dum 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 da da dum dum da dum. Man, this is ah, and we're done. Okay, so let's show you the scores. Remember, it's going to spit up two numbers: a productivity number and a gaming number. All right, it looks like the HTC Evo Shift pulled out a 759 for productivity and a 1102 for gaming. Meanwhile, the Evo pulled out a 513 for productivity and a 563 for gaming. So the Evo Shift, shockingly, wins both categories. It's a little bit better as a productivity phone, and it is miles and away the better gaming phone, which really, really surprised me, because you'd figure that a phone with a bigger screen would be the, would, would get more focus for gaming, but HTC put a lot of work and put a lot of optimization. You can see that they've learned a lot from the Evo, and that paid off here at the Shift. So, which phone is the better phone? You know, it really comes down to personal preference. If you need a bigger screen, if you're going to be watching videos and stuff like that, the Evo is probably a better phone. But for really day-to-day -day tasks. The Shift's not bad, and the Shift is a lot cheaper too, so it, again, it comes down to personal preference, but you're, you're gonna be fine with either one, but the Shift actually performs a little better, which was surprising. Okay, so that has been a comparison of the HTC Evo Shift and the HTC Evo 4G. For more information, check out htcpedia.com my full review of the Evo Shift should be up next week. Once again, this is Nigel for HTCpedia.com. Take care.